How to Age Fish for Sushi and Sashimi These days, dry-aged beef is all the rage, each day getting more and more popular. By aging the meat, it gets more tender and even tastier. But did you know that you can age fish as well? Just like beef, some types of fish can be aged. It's through the aging process that they become more tender while the umami levels increase. But be aware, when the fish is too fresh, the meat is still firm and doesn't contain a lot of umami yet. But aging them for a few days tenderizes the meat and increases the level of umami. Large fish such as red snapper or yellowtail most definitely taste better and are more tender when they are aged. But all that being said, aging fish has its risks. So please watch this lesson very carefully and feel free to contact us if you have any questions. First and foremost, choose a fresh fish for aging. Make sure the fish is fresh and of good quality. Here's a hint for you. If the fish is already smelling fishy and the color is deteriorating, it is not meant for eating raw at all. Now, other than the smell and the color of fish, there are some other characteristics that you can check to find out the quality of your fish. We have two sea bass. They look almost identical, but the face of this one, the top sea bass, is slightly red. Please note that this is not a characteristic you want in your fish. Make sure to choose one that has the same color throughout the body and face. Another thing to look for are clear eyes and bright red gills. As the fish meat gets old, it loses more and more of its color. The eyes become whiter and the redness fades. The fish itself will also become softer and softer as time goes by. The fresher the fish, the fresher and firmer the meat will be. The same goes for the guts. As time passes, the guts get softer, collapse, and start to smell. You can see that it's important to pay attention to these factors when choosing fresh fish. Of course, the best choice is choosing a fish that was caught that day. How to age a fillet sea bass. Cut off the head. For dry aging or just storing fish, it is important to remove the head before starting a dry aging process. First, we double check that the scales have been removed. If there are any scales left, remove them by scraping the knife vertically against the fish sideways, resulting in the shaving off of scales. Next, chop the head off. Let's start with the head facing left, like this. Lift the fin and cut diagonally from the point where the knife meets the bone by sawing, pushing, and pulling the knife back and forth, cutting the throat. Turn the fish over, lift up the gill, and cut it to the bone part from the slit at the throat. Slice it diagonally down to the left. Hold the knife vertically against the cutting board and cut off the backbone next to the head. Now the head is cut off, but you'll note the gut is still attached. Remove the guts. It is very important to remove the guts before you store or dry age the fish because it is the guts where the rotting process first begins. Place the fish with the head facing away from you and cut it open from the cloacal fin. Once it is open, you can remove both the guts and head together.